What is happening? This is your boy Nathan here. You're watching Robot Masters. Guess what? We got two white robots, a square, a round one, and today we're going to do something cool because they can both mob. Yes, this is called a hybrid, where it's a two-in-one, you can vacuum, it can mob at the exact same time. This is just more of a dedicated mopper, but it has a spray up a front, so it can uh, spray down some solution. Also, it has a dedicated back and forth mopping pattern, which helps get the dirty grind. But can this super smart Roblox S6 outperform the M6? We'll actually have this guy run first, and if it's any good, this guy won't be able to pick up anything. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Oh wait, let's see how this guy works. Well, there's a little flappy thing called the lid, and you can lift up the water tank. I know it has a solution that looks great for this guy, and it has a nice scent. Some people like it, some people don't. And for the Roblox, you just kind of take out the mopping attachment. And what's nice is you can either use the mopping attachment or you don't have to. Alright, you guys ready? Let's have some fun. Okay, so here's a look at the Bravo M6 Reservoir. It's larger than what is on the Roblox S5 or S6. They actually use the same attachment size. On S4 is the only robot that doesn't come with a mopping attachment. But you can always buy it separately and it should work with the S4. Also, the Roblox is coming out with a new one called the S5 Max, which has the ability to recognize carpet. Unfortunately, the S5 and S6 does not have that ability. You can see that the robot doesn't detect uh, carpet, so it's good if you use the boundary magnetic strips. Or you can go in the app and use an area select. The app is pretty accurate, so it shouldn't be a problem. Also, these are like the two little inlets, so air intakes which basically allows water to flow this is a gravity fed system whereas on the m6 it uses a dedicated motor that pumps water through and like on the m6 you have a little flappy things what i call it or a hat basically what this does is it's a piece of plastic that the robot can rest on and prevent water from seeping on your floors and lastly this tells you how to install the mopping attachment basically what you do is you can lift up here Held on by Velcro, and it just slides right off. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys filled up. And for this demonstration, I'll just use warm water. There we go. All right, let's get mopping. Okay, so one thing I would like to show you is the little... Uh, plastic part, basically both the M6 and S6 have it. It just helps prevent the water from pouring up on your hardwood floors as the robot sits to charge. So, what you do is you put the robot on the charger, to the sample, and then with the mopping attachment, all you have to do is slide it in from the back here, and it uses magnetics to hold it in place. Water tank installed. Look at this folks, my M6 is so mad at me, it's red. Let me know that it needs a water tank. Alright, so first thing you need to do is just remove the dirty one. It has this nice little button here. And it should come off. There you go. Next you can just place the robot on the charger there. And we'll install our water tank. Close the lid. And lastly, we'll take our disposable wet mopping pad. Also, you could buy ones that aren't disposable where you can wash in a washing machine. Okay, there we go. We're all ready to go. We will start with the S6. Here's the map and all you have to do is select the room you want to clean. So while I'm a big fan of a hybrid system, both the 2-in-1 vacuum and mop, unfortunately the S6 and S5 don't have carpet detection. So be mindful of where your carpets are. You can either use the app 
uh, keep out zones or you can use the boundary strips, magnetic tape to keep the robot off your carpets and area rugs. But that's just one minor thing to note. Also, the robot doesn't change its cleaning pattern, just sticks with its trying to permanent sweep and then it does a back and forth cleaning pattern, whereas the S5 Max will have a dedicated cleaning pattern. Can I see that? Yeah, looks pretty dirty. And all done for the last month or so, it's just vacuum. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the mopping robot on the M6. Uh, there's actually a couple preferences. You can select how much water flow you want to put down on your hardwood floor. I usually just do the minimum. And also you can do deep for tough messes or extended for coverage. But I find that the deep works really well. But for this demonstration, I'll just do the extended coverage since it has the very similar cleaning pattern as on S6. Alright, so here we go. We got the Bravo M6. So this guy can be paired up with the Psychic, the Roomba S9 or the Roomba i7. So what happens is it uses the imprint link, which basically the robot vacuum will vacuum first and then the little guy will pick up after he's done. Now one thing to note is even though this guy does have carpet detection, it sometimes get hung up on my carpet. Uh, iRobot has been pushing updates to minimize this, but my robot still tends to stray onto the carpet. Maybe it's just my style of carpeting. Another thing is I noticed that the spray nozzle didn't activate until about a minute into the video. So that's another thing to keep mindful of. Maybe my nozzle was clogged for the robot sitting for long periods of time. I don't know, but I'll look into this and see why there was a delay in the spray nozzle. Alright, so it looks like the M6 is kind of hung up on my carpet. But when I first got the guy, it would actually go into the center of the room off to the right. But now it detects it's on carpet and tries to get away from the carpet. So it's doing better, but it's not perfect. So there's a couple ways of keeping the robot out. You can either use the keep out zone, which iRobot pushed an update across all of the robots, the i7, the S9, and the M6. Also, you can use the lighthouse. I believe that works either in the straight line or halo mode, which is basically a little battery operated unit that takes two AA batteries to keep the robot out. And lastly, you could use a physical barrier. Okay, so it looks like the M6 is almost done. It did take about four times longer than what the Roblox S6 did. Once it's done doing the room, it will finish up with the perimeter sweep and go back to its charger. Look at the two. The S6 went first, and it clearly picked up a lot of dirt despite me vacuuming every day. One thing to note is the M6 does offer a uh, deep mode, basically for tougher messes, so it spends longer in that area. If you like this video, smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popping or not. You guys have a great rest of your day. Be safe out there. See you later.